Hello, today we're going to be talking about why wireless solutions matter when you are recording audio. Here we go. So today is going to be our third video that we've done on this channel regarding audio solutions. Now, uh, I promised to uh, get away from the subject matter for a little while, but for people who, who haven't met me in, in real life, uh, I used to work in professional theater in audio. Uh, I, I ran soundboards, I ran microphones, and so quality audio solutions has been something I've done actually even before uh, being a photographic instructor. So I actually was in audio first, and that's why it's so important to me. And in the advice I give to people that I see who are starting to do video workflow. So today what we're going to be talking about is uh, the audio that you record, specifically when you're using wireless systems. So right now I am recording uh, with the uh, uh, Rode Filmmakers Kit and I'm going to differentiate that from a different wireless solution. And for that uh, we're going to, to cut over to a video that I shot uh, earlier today. So. Let's go into that. So what you're listening to right now is a wireless system that I've owned for a number of years and that's Asden's Pro XD wireless system. It has no encryption, it has no redundancy, uh, and it's just a transmitter and a receiver. One's talking, the other's listening. And because of that, any other radio frequency traffic around or cell traffic around can interfere with the audio system. So when I've used this, I've constantly had issues with the audio dropping out. Now, the point of this video is that different wireless systems will have different technologies in place to try to alleviate these problems and they can also change the quality of the audio that's being recorded. So uh, there are three technologies that I'm really on the lookout for in wireless audio. The first is that the transmitter and the receiver understand each other and connect to each other. Second that they use a redundancy of some form in the channel they transmit on. Um, in the road system, they communicate with an already agreed upon channel and then constantly search through the other available channels to see if one is stronger and the two pieces can switch over if necessary, all right, in order to seamlessly keep uh, operating on the strongest available signal. Third technology is encryption, where it encrypts the audio to make sure that it doesn't get interference from other parts of the RF band or from cell traffic and things like that. You want to be on the lookout for these types of technologies in your wireless system because if you get dropouts during your audio uh, recording, you've got to do the whole clip over again or you've just got to live with it, which is really annoying um, and, and definitely something that you try to avoid. Um, if you uh, want to avoid wireless, you can go straight into an audio recorder, but not all wireless options are made the same. They're not all equal, and you want to be on the lookout for those types of technologies. Um, now, I don't work for Rode. I'm using the Rode Filmmakers Kit, which has these uh, technologies, but I know that Sennheiser has them as well. Some other uh, really wonderful companies uh, have these types of technologies with their a wireless system and they're definitely worth exploring to see what's right for you. Those are just the technologies that that I have found make a difference as I've transitioned from a really basic radio frequency kit into a much better uh, radio frequency kit. So I hope that that's useful. I hope it's helpful to you uh, and I hope that the example kind of demonstrates the differences in, in uh, audio connectivity and in different uh, qualities uh, of that type of system. Uh, as always, if it was useful, I'm going to ask you to like and subscribe. It's free. You knew that. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I'll see you next time.